Hello children, a big loving welcome to our very own channel Ammu and You where I am Ammu and I love narrating stories and I know that you love listening to them. How I know? Why? Don't you write to me? Yes you do and I love getting your comments and reading them. Right? So today I have a very interesting story written by the great Sudha Murthy. She writes so beautifully and she has written so many stories for children. The Magic Drum. Ramachandra and Ram were an old couple. Rama and Ramchandra had been married for many years. They had worked very hard and saved every paisa they possibly could to make their dream come true. What was their dream? They wanted to visit Kashi, that is also called Banaras, and offer puja to Lord Vishwanath. They saved for many years and one day was delighted to find they had enough money for their pilgrimage. So they set out on the pilgrimage and it was a long and dangerous journey in those days. They had been warned that there would be many thieves on the way and hence should be very careful and they were indeed very careful with their belongings especially their small pouch where they had put all their money in it they had saved for it this very pilgrimage on the way to Kashi they passed Sauvira a small village they had heard that it was a good place to stay the night so the old couple decided to stop and spend the night in one of the dormitories there. Kamesh, the owner of that dormitory, told the couple to leave their belongings with him and freshen up for dinner. But the two refused to do so. Rama sat holding the bag containing their money while Ramachandra went to take a bath. After he finished, he sat holding the bag and Rama went to wash up. Then they had dinner, chatted with Kamesh for some time and went into their room. They decided to use the pouch as a pillow and Ramachandra slept with it under his head. The first thing they did when they woke up the next morning was check for their money bag. To their horror, they discovered it was missing. While they were sleeping, the lodge owner, Kamesh and his wife had entered the room and removed the bag from under the old man's head. The two cried in despair. Now they would not be able to complete their pilgrimage. They had no money left and they went to Kamesh to complain. But Kamesh coolly replied, I don't know anything about your bag. You are old and you would have forgotten it somewhere. And I'm sure, if not forgotten, you must have dropped it somewhere on the way. This is an honest person's lodge, so please don't come and complain. After some more arguments, the elderly couple walked out clutching their small bag of clothes and some food. As they walked through the village, they told many people their story. A teacher sitting and teaching his students under a tree heard them and decided they should be given justice. He told them to go to the city where Krishnakant, the king's counsellor, lived. Krishnakant was famous for his sense of fairness and intelligence. Everyone said that there was never a problem that Krishnakant could not solve. Krishnakant heard their story and said, I have a drum in my house. It is a magic drum. If you tell the truth in front of the drum, it starts beating by itself. You come to my house tomorrow morning and carry the drum to the court. On your way, tell the drum your story. I will send word to Kamesh to come and carry the drum back in the afternoon. I will see how the drum behaves and be ready with the verdict in the evening. Fair enough. The next morning, Rama and Ramchandra started walking with the magic drum to the court. It was very heavy. 
The coat was at a distance and the two, two were soon very tired. They saw a big banyan tree and decided to rest in its shade. They put the drum down and sat under the tree. Rama said, we will never get justice in this strange kingdom. Have you ever heard of a magic drum? Let us go back home. We have lost all our money, all the savings of all these years. Ram Chandra replied, I was so careful with the money, yet we lost it. Maybe the Lord does not wish us to visit him. Jai Baba Vishwanath. As soon as he said these words, the sound of beating came from the drum. The old couple was very happy. We may have no witness, but God knows we are speaking the truth. Look, the magic drum started beating on its own. Then they stood up and after drinking some water from a nearby stream, they picked up the drum. To their surprise, they found it had become much lighter. God must have heard us. They told each other happily. That is why he has made our load lighter. In the afternoon, it was the turn of Kamesh and his wife to come and pay, take the drum to the court. So they came and took the drum from Krishnakant back to the court. They too found it very heavy and decided to sit under the big tree in its shade to rest. As soon as they sat down, the wife started blaming her husband. Why did you have to steal the money? Now see, what a mess we are in. Kamesh replied angrily. You are a good one to blame me, huh? Who unlocked the door and showed me where the pouch was kept? Anyway, do you really believe this is a magical drum? I think it is all a lie just to make fool of ourselves. Now... To so their utter surprise, Krishnakant himself opened the top of the drum and jumped out. I am the witness. I have heard every word you said and also what Rama and Ramchandra said. You will return the stolen money and also pay three times more as penalty. Kamesh and his wife stood there dumbstruck. It had never occurred to them that their lie could be exposed. But it was. Krishnakant was so intelligent. He himself had gotten himself into the drum and had heard both the couples speak at different times. They all reached the court. Rama and Ramchandra were delighted when they heard the verdict given by Krishnakant in front of the king. They went on to complete their pilgrimage to Kashi in comfort, all the while blessing Krishnakant and his magic drum. And Krishnakant warned Kamesh that you better stop fooling people and stealing their hard earned money or else I will throw you out of the kingdom. I don't want any bad name of the kingdom where we live. The king will never be happy if he knows about it. Kamesh apologized and promised that he would never do this again with anyone. And very sadly, filled with remorse, Kamesh and his wife returned to their dormitory home. Children, lie is very short-lived. It is always exposed somehow or the other. Krishnakant was very intelligent and he had planned in such a way that Rama and Ramchandra could get justice and they could really go on their pilgrimage for which they had worked so hard all their lives. Truth always prevails. 
So children, never speak a lie. Okay? Thank you for listening to this story, children. You know what you are supposed to do now? Like, share, subscribe and write to me how you like the story. And you can also write to me if you ever had spoken a lie and felt bad about it. You will always feel bad about it. There's a conscious inside us that pricks whenever we speak a lie. Thank you, children. And be good, be truthful and bye-bye. See you soon with another story.